And I'm saying that she acted, in my mind, uh, outside of the confines of the law. And we have absolutely no choice but to revoke all, and I want to emphasize, all of those appointments. If that was her considered judgment at the time, how could the former Governor General, upon demitting office, knight as many as nine individuals? And it was not done in accordance with the requirements of the Honours Act, which would have made those appointments illegal. Now, we have no quarrel with individuals who are so knighted, but they have to understand that um, there are certain legal implications and at the same time we cannot allow that type of precedent to stand because it will provide perhaps some other governor general in the future to do likewise. The plan is in essence is to revoke those um, appointments. I am of the view that there are several individuals who form part of the nine who are deserving and we will get the Honours Committee to look at those independently and to perhaps have those individuals knighted during our independence. And the Governor General, for instance, could knight her son who has never ever made any contribution whatsoever to this country. In fact, I'm not aware that he made any substantial contribution either to the country in which he was born. So how can you, just based on what blood relations, knight someone? How can you decide to uh, honor someone based on the fact that it worked for you?